this is a um, Toyota Ray slash Brodor Ativa slash the Daihatsu Rocky and it's the very mini crossover that competes with a Honda HRV, a Toyota Corolla Cross maybe and also the Mazda CX-30 and to be honest we're gonna review this and since we got the Perodo Ativa version which is basically in this color over here um, I'll just give my thoughts after the video Let's start the exterior looks First of all, we've got your LED headlights which looks very good Your fog lights also good This fence is fake, I don't know why This over here uh, some of it's the top half is fake, the bottom half is real except for some of the parts that you can see and of course the uh, half side is fake, half side is real, I don't know why, why I don't know why it's everything in half and half and then everything's just the same on the other side, okay and then we've got your side view, so these, these wheels over here they are 16 inches I believe yes they're 16 inches, made in Indonesia and they, they look quite good, this is the advanced version, so this is the top range version and we have a black door mirror uh, as standard as long with a black trim and we have um, so far the body line, no body line I mean it goes until here and then that's it so it's not really that big of a deal the back has this uh, real chair lights look very cool indeed and of course you wear a fog light and uh, you got your Pro Duo logo, your Activa Advanced logo there is the exhaust is real? well no, the exhaust is here just like well any other uh, small car on the planet which has this oh there's also a truck bin that's a nice thing about this car let's do the interior alright there you go can't completely how you unlock cars here alright interior from the front since this is the advanced trim you have a red trim here's your gearbox and you you know drive SM you can do plus and minus unfortunately here you don't have pedal shifters so this is your steering wheel, your dash is over there and you have your uh, whatever you need, you know, I guess and uh, over here is the storage and your HDMI and all this stuff and over here you have your manual handbrake still think good, good job Toyota and then you open this, well, not much close it and then over here you have your glove box in which you have your whatever you have in there and over here is some cup holders which are really nice speaking to myself well you can see that uh you can put water bottles in here not cups though you don't know why you're not allowed to do that well uh, it does depend going to the back of the car now before i do a door test um let's see how the headroom is really good it's an suv so really good it's a mini crossover suv but your leg room well it's quite tight for a six foot guy like me and of course you have your AC uh, oh no you don't you only have your charger here there's no AC in the back unfortunately and of course over here does it have it? nope it doesn't have it F. all right and then over here you have your uh, door over here then your boot is behind there I don't know if the boot is actually how big it is it. so uh, I will not say how big it is and, and apologize for that so speaking of that let's look at the boot Let's see how big it is. Is it automatic though? We'll see. Nope, it's not. You have to open it manually. Not good. All right, so we see you have your glove box, um, your, your cover. And over here, oh, well, it's actually quite okay. And there's some nothing, I guess. Um, how do you open the, you see that? Oh, you can see the, oh, you can't open it on that side. Oh, well, you know what that means now. There's no, you have to close it manually as well. So, oh, okay. Oh, all right, let's stand it down. I speak on that. Let's do the door test. So we close this door. It's kind of okay to me. Let's open this door. Oops. Oh, I had to close it just to slam it. And yeah, that's all for the interior and the boot. So this is the engine. It is a 1KR VET. It is a one liter three cylinder turbocharged petrol that puts at 98 or 97 horsepower and one and 140 to 149 newton meters of torque it drives front wheels via a dcvt gearbox and to be honest it's quite good
a serious tension. There's no turbo now. Alright, so there's no turbo noise. Uh, I think the turbo is only running when you have a run higher at the end, but uh, we're not going to do that now. Yeah. Now, what do I think about the Perua Activa slash the Hatsuraki slash Toyota Rays? Well, if you're thinking of getting a cheap SUV, why don't you go ahead and buy it? It's quite good anyway. But if you want, if you don't like the Proto or anything, so like that, just avoid it. You you don't really need it. You can get something like a HRV or anything else as a crossover. And so yeah, that's all for this video. If you enjoy, please like, subscribe, and do comment down your thoughts about the Proto Activa slash Toy to Race slash Toy to Race. How I just say this? And goodbye, guys.